Hello there, my name is KC Shells and I'm ready for WCPL 2024. Very much um, eager just for that one chance to showcase my skills and my development as a player. You've played, or you've been in the squad for the last two years, rubbing shoulders with some big names. You know, how has the CPL been, you know, in terms of marketing the Caribbean talents, and how much are you looking to grab that up? Um, obviously, um, you know, being among some of the best uh, female cricketers in the world, um, rubbing shoulders with them, um, you know, is a good experience, and obviously, you know, just witnessing how they train, um, how they think and how they go about you know, their business in precious situations, you know, and it's something I'm looking, for, looking forward to this time around and looking to grab as much as I can from them. You played the regional tournament, you've been in and among the wickets for Guyana, and then you've played a few matches for the West Indies. How much are you looking forward to get that opportunity and see you and break into the West Indies? Um, obviously at this point, you know, um, opportunity is key. You know, once given then, you know, I'll showcase my skills and my talent and my development as a player. What are some of the things you know you've been working on off season and putting you know preparations in place for a big tournament like the women's year? It's more mental, um, you know, trying to look at my videos as much as possible, um, trying to put the cues together, and yeah, um, been working a lot, especially on my bowling and. You know, hopefully this time around, you know, I could showcase what I've been doing behind the scenes. And, you know, it's always good to have those variations um, in my skill set now. So it's a plus going forward in this time on CPL. 2024, we're almost into 2024, but how would you describe your 2024? You played cricket in Barbados, you know, with some, some meals. What was that experience like for you? Uh, 2024 has been a blessed year for me thus far, um, to God be the glory. Um, playing in Barbados, um, you know, has been a great opportunity um, that I would have gotten. You know, training at UE um, in the weekdays and then on weekdays, uh, weekends, then I will have game time, um, you know. Having that opportunity to train at UE, having coaches like Errol Barrow, um, Colin Pedro once he's on the floor. Um, just downloading information and you know giving back feedback and stuff like that you know shout out to them um, on weekends i will go at a club um, by the name of ipswich you know the guys there they're very welcoming the atmosphere is very encouraging you know and you know having that opportunity to play against those men um, it would have done a lot mentally because it's a lot of two day three day the longer version of the game and it would have helped in some way and you know, I really appreciate it. And shout out to the guys at Ipswich as well. So, yeah. The men won the CPL last year. What are the chances for the Guyana Amazon Warriors women's team winning the championship this year? Do you guys have what it takes? Of course we do. Um, we came pretty close um, last season, and you know, it's just about crossing that line, and we will definitely this time around.